300 gestures on the PTS with the new drop rates and then I'm going to compare them to the drop rate of the um, live server. Oh wait, 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 ah, what I should do is probably deposit all my money first. Seventy-five, thirty. What am I doing wrong? Should be able to deposit it, right? I mean, insufficient coins. What's that? Oh, duh. Yeah, I really hope these still drop shards because if they substituted the shards for dust, that's going to be kind of dumb. But I'll screenshot it after it's all done and then compare it to the um, the live server. are going to get annoying. Whoops, that transparency is backwards. gestures in screenshot mode. Yeah, 50 down and no shards, yeah, that's kind of depressing. Pretty sure that by now on live I would have had at least one or two sunlight shards. Yeah, that looks really bad so far. If that's the case, then I'm opening up my 900 before 1.7 launches. It looks like um, the ones that might be worth it. I'll open up the 20 um, stolen ones later. But it looks like the ones that might be worth it are like the higher level purses. Because they're currently worthless on one point or on our on the live server. Merit badge. 
hatch, what the hell are those for? Probably just for opening a ton of stuff. Yep, using 500 labor. Yeah, that's looking horrible so far. 100 and you only have 4 of the sunlight dust. There's a reason why sunlight's so expensive on the live server right now. Having second thoughts about uh, yellowing my celestial katana because if it blows up, it's going to be so much more expensive to make another one. I think what I'll do instead is um, I'll probably try to get like a celestial or divine buff on some of the obsidian armor that I'm going to make for myself. Yeah, this is pretty bad so far. 150 down, not even the equivalent of one shard. Well, one shard so far, but still. I'm kind of curious to see what the stolen jester bags give, though, if they even it out or not. It's not bad. I mean, we've got another, what, four or five days before 1.7 goes live? If it's really this bad, I might just go grind gestures nonstop. and then just cash them all out before 1.7 goes live. I freaking deleted uh, 10 worker comps mm -hmm. yesterday on accident. Got a ticket to try on support to see if they can get them back to me. I put them in one of the chests and then um, inserted the house over to my main, not taking any of this stuff out because usually the chest stays there, but it's a stupid teardrop chest and like it didn't transfer over with the house so I just mailed the chest back to the uh, the other account and apparently deleted everything that was in it yeah this is bad this is really bad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. glowing prism it's not bad mm -hmm. I, I think like Money-wise, though, it might be about the same. I'm gonna have to give it a try and see. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll, uh, I'll screenshot this and then look up the prices on the live server, the current prices, and see like price-wise what the difference is. I wish that like I could get 100 of the um, the library purses fast. I, don't, I just don't feel like grinding library on this BTS because there's no point. Let's see, we're 130 in or 120 in so far. I 
think we're what 260 in so far about just under 260 and not even one shard so it looks like they've taken the shards completely out of them and made it drop more of the junk stuff which is stupid I mean sure you can always upgrade these and it's more efficient than downgrading your shards but like I think that you get more shards because like every time it would drop shards for me it's like two you know two or so it's never just one and we would have gotten more than two shards with the 160 that we've opened so far 260 whoops Seventy down, still no shards. I think it's pretty safe to assume that they've removed all the shards from the gestures. You can see the huge difference in the um, starlight stuff though. Like only one dust to three to nine. So sunlight actually drops a lot more now. Which I guess is good for weapon builders. So there we've got it. Here is all of the. superior wave lunarite right? because that's the, the better one to get but that's all the stuff from that and 29 gold I guess the 29 gold's not so bad that's 1500 labor for 29 gold so so screenshot that all right now let's open these 20 gesture let's clear all this Stainless. One superior fire lunarite. One sunlight archaeum dust. Two sunlight archaeum dusts. And a fire lunarite. Sunlight Archaeum dust. Oh, mm -hmm. that drops a lot of dust. Of course, I had to say it and it mm -hmm. jinxed it now. Mm -hmm. Two moats. Two dust. Mm -hmm. Whoops. I think I'm pretty sure that I moved someone I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Moonlight Archaeum Dust, Clear Wave Lunar Drop, and a Glowing Prism. Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do Glowing Prism mm -hmm. times one. Mm -hmm. I'm moving these one line up, that way if they drop again, they'll drop right into here. And a Clear Wave mm -hmm. Lunar Drop. Mm -hmm. Sunlight Archaeum Dust should have gone directly in there. Not bad, star point. And moonlight motes, that one gave one. That was a mysterious garden powder and a wave lunarite. <coughs> and 
Nothing but gold from that one. Starlight Arcane Motes and Superior Fire Lunarite. Sunlight Motes times four. Clear Earth Luna Drop. Nothing. Nothing again. Superior Fire, then right, Moonlight, Archeum Dust. Sunlight, Archeum Dust. Moonlight, Archeum Dust. And a Wave, Lunarite. Sunlight, Archeum Dust. That's it. Man, you get almost as much stuff just from the 20... Um, Just bullshitting. Uh, Mark, and this is um, PTS. I'm just opening 300 gestures on PTS to see the value that they give compared to the other stuff. So this corner right here. <laughs> This corner right here is from the 20 stolen gesture purses, and then this stuff is all from the um, the 300 other gestures, the normal gestures. Just check and drop rates. What the hell? It's wanting me to log in. To my own dashboard. One second. That's weird. Okay, so let's log in on live then.